more videos for this week and the awesomeness has not stopped. Go to your Blender default um, file folder and here type CMD. We're going to get a common prompt window and you can change the title of that common prompt window by typing title and then whatever title you want to use. So let's identify this window specifically. So I'm going to press enter and now you can see the title has been changed. Now let's add some arguments. Um, I'm going to use this blender um, minus minus background, which means basically that blender is going to render in the background. There are other commands that I'm going to be showing you in the comment section below and also in the video description. Next is the full path location to the blend file, which is very important. This is where your file lives. And following, we need to we need to set or um, locate to where we want to output the render folder to. And in this case, it's followed by the full path to the render output. Okay, just like in this example. And finally, we have the command render anim, which is uh, the final command to you know launch the uh, process for Blender. Okay, so there is a way to um, make this even shorter. If you grab this part and then you um, abbreviate it with this letter, then you're going to get the same result than typing it with the complete letters. Okay, so in this case, please notice that the full path. Um, has a um, single uh, minus and the abbreviation only has one minus sign so we can translate this blender minus V the path minus O the path again so I'm going to color code it as you just saw it before and this is the end result so you can type this in abbreviation mode if we can say it so and then you can um, push enter to go into render mode. So where are these commands? You can go to Blender help and please don't forget to um, check out the comments whenever you have questions about what the arguments could be, okay? How you can fill this um, command with arguments. So it's very important that you set them in the correct order. This is what it's, it's recommended on the Blender help. And now I'm going to try to execute this, but there's a problem. The file does not exist. Um, so I'm going to paste the file again, and I'm following this directions right here, which you should as well. So I'm going to fix my path. My God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay and it's happening yes it's rendering in the background and you can see the le the the frame number here here and also the the samples as well as the time so what are the advantages to do this that you can uh, minimize the usage of the v vram actually the graphical user interface um, in this case it's omitted so that you can go even faster for longer renders okay so we see here that we have our location for the file and all of the renders have been successfully completed. So now I'm going to open the interface so you can see what I'm going to do from the UI. And let's check out how much difference there is between one and the other one. One and the other. So this is the simple, simplest animation I could do. And I'm going to target the output folder right here and now I'm going to press render animation and from there on the stats of the um, render images are going to be shown up here in the upper left corner so you can see how much time it's taking for each frame but I'm going to accelerate this times 10 because we need to hurry up and complete this video so I'm accelerating and now we're going to go into the folder where all of the renders are. Of course, you can also play it back by Ctrl F11, and then it will open a Blender player, and, that, and then you can see your own animation. Isn't that neat? Fantastic, so let's open up the folder where we render from the UI, and we can see that there is only one minute difference 
uh, from the moment that it began to render uh, compared against the other one who was a headless render um, it also took one minute didn't take much because these are simple scenes all right let's troubleshoot stuff if you don't get the command to work you should check if you have your latest blender version installed if you have older blender versions please uninstall them use the, the most uh, recent one of course you can have different um, versions but it is uh, necessary that you um, register the variable the system variable to call upon blender from anywhere within the command line so to do that you can come here into the properties of the PC and then come to advanced functions or advanced uh, section then go to environment variables variables and now create a new variable new uh, system var variable I'm sorry um, I'm going to be calling this one blender and then I'm going to be copying and pasting the path the complete path to my blender executable then I I press OK and then you need to restart your machine I'm not going to restart it I'm just going to go to my original location and from there on you can activate your render of course there are other arguments that you can complete your command line with for example um, you can check you can change the render engine at render time while when you're doing a headless render so this way you can choose between EV workbench or cycles and the the first letter is determined there in this uh, complete list I bid you to read it completely so I'm you can not use surprised. it surprise this is nothing but hard work and determination okay and this is just a bonus scene I'm not surprised which is this is nothing but hard work and determination a simple grease pencil animation which I did I'm not surprised this is nothing but hard work and determination and so that you can pick it up and download it and check it out because I'm it's not just surprised. amazing I'm surprised this is nothing but hard work and determination I did it I did this not scene very quickly this is nothing but hard work and determination and the driver that makes Seto talk it's right there in pink you can uh, maybe when you open it on your user interface you'll see it in a different color all right check the link description and download it and please please if you like this video and the surprise don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button give it a like a thumbs up please share the video comment below I thank you so much we're growing with this channel and I'm very happy to answer any of your questions and also any of the commentaries that you have to do proper formatting in your headless render please paste it down here in the comments below I want this video uh, to have a lot of comments for the specific commands that you're going to use in your headless render thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next video I'm not surprised this is nothing but hard work and determination I'm not surprised this is nothing but hard work and determination